どうしたんだろう Hello, I'm your fellow fellow map. Does Goro Majima need his own spin off game? I mean, if we are just looking at his popularity, and even you guys are constantly asking for him in the comments, then maybe it is fair that Goro Majima deserves his own game. But the question is does he need one? The Yakuza game series is a wonderful franchise. And the reason for Yakuza's success may come down to its fun beaten up gameplay. You can beat people with bikes, stories that will glue your eyes to the screen, Kuse! and mini games that you can sing along with. Dame but the strongest aspect of the Yakuza game series is with their characters. Kiryu Kazuma, the dragon of Dojima, the Chad meme personified. He is a former Yakuza trying to run away from his past and live a peaceful life, but always ends up getting mixed into clan trouble. If only he stops going back to Kamurocho where the trouble is. Shun Akiyama, a billionaire that still dresses up like a homeless person, but he is the coolest character next to Dante from the Devil May Cry series, who also looks like a homeless person. Ichiban Kasuga, the new protagonist, who a lot of us relate to, not in the sense that he is an otaku who plays a lot of video games, but the fact that he is broke. The characters of the Yakuza game series are well written, except those who got sent to the US and might have a gig on GTA V 6 Remaster. But one of the better written characters is the Mad Dog of Shimano. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless, I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Goro Majima needs his own game because he is more than just a side character First time players of Yakuza may think that Goro Majima is a side character or a hype man for Kiryu But he is more than that Before Yakuza 0 came out Fans were already asking for a spin-off game that features Goro Majima as the main character. And even now, fans are still asking for a solo Majima game. But that may not come out soon since the studios revealed that they have no plans on a spin-off game that focuses on Majima. So does it mean that Majima is not interesting? Well, obviously not. In fact, Goro Majima is the most interesting character in the Yakuza game series because of his loyalty. As he said, if the chairman says it's black, then it is black. Another thing is his unpredictability that always brings something new to the table and makes the game entertaining. Majima everywhere is proof of that. Oh, you're trying to look at the Millennium Tower? Boom, here's Officer Majima. Oh, you're trying to have a leisure walk on the road? Boom, here's Tropical Majima. Oh, you're trying to enjoy your time in Cabaret? Boom, here's Goromi-chan. She's cute. That loyalty and unpredictability earned him the nickname the Mad Dog of Shimano. But Goro Majima needs his own game because he is more than just a mad dog. One of the reasons why we do not have a Yakuza game where it solely focuses on Goro Majima is because he is a made man compared to Kiryu who took 7 games. This is not to say that Majima is more interesting compared to Kiryu or vice versa. It may seem that the legacy of the Mad Dog is finished, but it does not mean that we cannot have a spin-off that takes place in the past. If Yakuza 0 and Ishin were able to do it, then why not a game that is also set in the past that further solidifies the legacy of the Mad Dog? But why should that game be set in the past? Going back to Yakuza 0, the reason why Majima works as an excellent character is that we were able to see how his character struggled with his own principles and created a personal dilemma. Majima, of course, being a prisoner in Sotonbori and wore the mask of the Lord of the Night as punishment for his insubordination, which is far from being a loyal dog. Majima struggled with his mission to kill Makoto and again straining his ideology of wanting to become a loyal asset for the Tojo clan. It's the story and character development that made Goro Majima a fan favorite. But having a game where it again challenges Majima's ideology as a loyal character may seem repetitive. 
I mean, will you buy and play a game that is very similar to past versions of that series that offers no innovation or development to the story? This is the reason why the game should be set in the past. Because instead of Majima struggling again with being loyal, it should be about Majima being more than just the mad dog of Shimano. Goro Majima is an excellent character, not just because of his unshakable loyalty nor his unpredictability. Goro Majima is an excellent character because he is relatable. He struggles like us when faced with a tough decision. How many times in your life were you presented with a hard decision to make? I mean, we lose our mind trying to select which burrito are we ordering in Taco Bell. Or when we are asked what to major in college only to end up being the one asking the customer what burrito he wants in Taco Bell. Majima is relatable because we experience his personal dilemma in Yakuza 0. Do we kill Makoto to prove our loyalty or screw the clan and protect this blind girl? And like every single of ourselves, merge and agree to a single important task. Of course, we're going to save the waifu right after I perfect this karaoke. So, no, 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 I love you. One final thing. Goro Majima is relatable because we are able to share his pain. Not to say that the other characters of Yakuza shy away from pain and loss because, oh boy, there are so many of those. But Majima's pain hits the hardest because there is the temptation that you want to take back your decision, but decide not to. Not because you cannot, but because you know you should not. Of course, I'm talking about the ending in Yakuza 0, so spoilers. At the end of the Yakuza 0, you might be screaming at Majima to freaking turn, dude, and get your girl. But deep inside, you know that he cannot do that, and that cuts deep. We now see a Goro Majima that learned from his past. He is now a wise person that does not give in to his rage, but a person who can bring peace to those that he loves. I have played a lot of games in my life, but Majima's ending in Yakuza 0 was the only game to make me hurt like that. And it is painful that there's nothing that we can do as a player, only to see Majima walking his path as the mad dog of Shimano. Or buy the DLC pack in Yakuza Kiwami 2 for closure. But what about you guys? Do you think Goro Majima needs his own spin-off game? Or which Yakuza character deserves one? Let me know down in the comments.